Okay. This is going to be in the theme of the Coca-Cola fridge, except in this case, we're talking about the Belkin 550 VA UPSs. Now you can see I've got the back end opened up on this, and specifically what I'm talking about is, is my UPS dead? Now I have no idea where the documentation for this went to, and honestly it could be long since in the landfill, because I've had these for a few years, and a few isn't <laughs> is not an exaggeration, not even close. I don't know how many years I've had these. Anyways, the sealed lead acid batteries went dead. And you can see one right there. And uh, in one case, it is pretty much dead. In the other case, it was only taking about 4 volts charge. And what I found out was when the voltage is below a certain threshold, these Belkin UPSs will not start up regardless of what the voltage or the voltage state, regardless of whether or not there's a battery inserted into it. If the voltage state is too low or reads zero from the battery leads, it will not start. Now, what I ended up coming into possession of, and it's around here somewhere, ah, way over here. I came into possession of a very strange little Belkin unit for AT&T U-verse, and I took a look at the battery that was in there, and I swiped it. And that is the battery you can see in here. It was holding a voltage of 12 or better, so I hooked it up, UPS started right up. Now, being in IT for as long as I have, I know that eventually you should replace UPSs regardless of whether or not the battery is the only part that's gone bad. But these have been offline for so long, I don't feel any risk in simply ordering another battery. For each of the two of these that I have, I'm considering making a lithium ion cell replacement battery but I'm feeling a little uneasy about that because that could very well be some kind of fire hazard or risk. There is an interesting option available that has to do with here's one pile of batteries with uh, an interesting four I'll show you. These are a bunch of supposedly dead batteries and I'm going to be trying one of those Panasonic batteries, and I mentioned that in another video. See if I can get one of them to charge up. Anyways, the there is a battery holder that has charge discharge protection built into the holder entirely. There's a whole series of them that are available on eBay. They're available in two series, one parallel, 3 series, 1 parallel, 4 series, 1 parallel, and I can't remember if there was one beyond that. And if I go with a 4 series, 1 parallel, or a 3 series, 1 parallel, then the voltage will match the input voltage when these lead acid batteries are being charged in the Belkin, and the charge protection circuitry should cut off the voltage internally, or cut off the voltage, or cut off the source of the battery on discharge, and then I can have as many parallel as I want. So, again, the root conversation, Belkin VA, 550 VA unit, uh, which, let me grab the bottom of that one, the other one down here. So, that's, sorry for all the camera work. It's a Belkin. Seasick. F6C 550 AVR. 550 VA output, 330 watts. Great little UPS, just unfortunate that the battery eventually died in it. The other thing that's interesting, these battery, or these UPSs, have a curious piece of foam. It seems like it just cheats you out of space, and they could have put a bigger lead acid battery in here. So, even if I don't use 
a custom lithium ion setup. I could certainly look at, very possibly, ordering a larger battery. Anyways, thanks again.